guys, it's Penguin Does Redstone here, and welcome back, and about a month ago, someone asked me for a tutorial on my two input, survival redstone, expandable, simple, cheap, combo walk, and I kind of forgot about it, honestly, but I've gotten around to it, so here it is, and if you haven't seen my first video on this mechanism, I recommend watching it first, so you know exactly what I'll be building. But, here we go. Here's the lever for your input. And then, what you want to do is you want to create an alternating pattern of repeater, block, repeater, block, leading out here. And the number of repeater, of repeater block segments you have is the number of inputs is the is how long your combination will be there we go so i'm just going to make mine one two three four five six uh i'll make five long so once you finish that what you want to do is run repeaters into these repeaters so they can be locked and if you don't know about repeater locking it's basically, if a repeater powers another repeater from the side, this repeater here, its state will be locked, so it can't change, no matter what its input is. So that's pretty useful. Once you've run, once you've run redstone along the side of those, place an inverter here, and then a repeater on two, on two ticks, then this is a pulse shortener, an inverted pulse shortener, I guess, monostable circuit, they're called, uh, sticky piston in the ground, block on top, two redstone, and I just happen to have this conveniently placed button right here, so when you press the button, boom, boom, the locks will be turned off for just long enough for the signal to move by one repeater. Then, what you want to do is you want to bring this out a few redstone, and then, and then you want to place a repeater on one, then a repeater on four, then two repeaters on four leading into each other. And this is a pulse is a pulse lengthener. What this button will do is it will clear the entire combination lock. It will clear every memory state, which is for resetting so you don't need to press this button a bunch of times. Now, if this is like 50 cells long, super duper long, you might need a third, you, you might need another row with three repeaters on four, but that's only if it's really, really long. This should be long enough. Then hook up the ends of these all together with redstone, then run it into this inverter, and now we have the input set up. So now you can choose your combination. Mine is going to be on, off, on, off, on. So here we go because the repeater is locked, the signal is not going through. Then we release the lock for a short amount of time so the signal can pass through. On, eh. And we'll turn this off. We press the button. This, the on signal moves one, leaving the input of the lever off in the first segment. I apologize if that was confusing. And then we'll just repeat that. And the entire signal moves by one. Turn it on. And then on. And the great thing about this combo walk, it is impossible for a person trying to break into your house to know how long the combo is, unless they take a look at the redstone, which I don't advise you let them do. But then place a redstone torch on top of each of these blocks, and then here, when the combination is inputted correctly, you want you want every single thing on top of these blocks to be off. So, if this redstone torch is off, you want to put a redstone here because the combination is inputted correctly, and that'll be fine. 
we want to double invert that signal. That signal is already off. Double invert that. That signal's off. Then hook up everything. Invert that. And take that redstone signal to whatever you want, I guess. And then what's cool about this is that you can wipe the memory cell with any redstone input. So with this, I'm just going to hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's long enough. Or short enough. Now, when I step through the iron door, the code is reset and the door is closed. And if this was a bit confusing over here, I will try to explain that again. When the code is inputted correctly, you want when the code is inputted correctly, you want if this cell is on, this to be a redstone. If this cell is off, this to be a torch. If this cell is on, this to be a redstone. If this cell is off, this to be a torch. If this cell is on, this should be a redstone. Just to be sure that everything is off when the code is inputted. So, yeah. This was the, I guess, requested tutorial. And you can pretty it up, as always. And I'm horrible at prettying things up. Keep that in mind. Um, but... This is my device, I guess. Thanks for watching. This is Pen Windows Redstone. And if you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more stuff by me, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. This has been Pre This has been Penguin Does Redstone. I'm out.